ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now in this video today we shall be using our new tool that we made, um, the spring fuller and we're going to be making um, a hook from it. I have a little um, job for someone, they're going to be paying £15 for five hooks um, and they, they want it every single hook to be different and so I've made these um, three, I've got one in the house, um, all done, so they're just nice in there. And we're going to make the third, uh, sorry, fifth hook with this here. So yes, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So whilst the force is heating up, the metal what we're going to be using is, okay, that's for a bit, the um, metal we're going to be using is this um, stuff here. Is, is one inch by about an eighth of an inch um, rectangular stock um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just place it between there and create some depression to this side about one or two of the back plate and then we'll see the hook over First off, what I'm going to do is just start tapering, and it's folded over each other a little, it, itself a little bit at the tip there. So what I'm going to do later on is clean it up. I might just grind that tip down to a profile. Okay. So now we're going to use our new fullering tool, and we're going to create fullers around about here and here. A couple of fillers and we'll put the um, hole in the middle of them. down just a little bit more it's not even, but so far it's working pretty well okay, perfect now I think that's more on my part not keeping it straight and level so I think that'll do for that one we're going to get onto the second one that's going to go just under it um, and then once it's, uh, the second one's there we'll stick the hole in between the two I think, ladies and gentlemen, that, that that is too shabby. Oh, it was quite nice. So now, in that little middle piece there, we're going to centre punch it, and that's where we're going to stick the hole. We're just going to take this down. And you can see how these um, also like snake tongue, it's all like mushrooming in it on each other and it's going to fold over each other. So once I've forged the um, taper on this, I'm going to just grind that off and create a new taper because that's um, may well even split apart. So you can't have that with it's a hook. What I'm attempting to do right now is I'm trying to use the edge of the hammer. Just trying to hit just on this side of the edge of the taper, just so hopefully that pushes the middle um, middle uh, middle part of the metal forward, so it eliminates that fold over. Hopefully, that's what we're attempting to do. Yeah, we've just got the little fold over in there, so I'm going to um, 
quick to cool it off uh, off camera. I'm just going to grind that round off um, and then re taper it off. Just while that metal's heating up, I just wanted to take the time just to congratulate my dad for making this a flying machine. Now, rather than spending a good like £400 or something like that to get a flying machine, he's made one. Now, I get the extension I leave over here so you can see what good a job he's done on this. And look at this. Now there's the applied pressure. Yes. Yeah. And that should, if you try and look at the speed that's going, that has slowed that straight down to this. It is absolute, an absolute brilliant piece of kit. And it falls brilliantly. <laughs> yeah, well done, Dad. Yeah, like, like normal, like we're normally doing it in every so often in the video just comment how awesome that is for making that and how all the other tools he's made absolutely brilliant ground that uh, tip off to get that folded over, over metal off it now i'm just going to re roughly reprofile it there you go so now we're going to um do that penny scroll on there get the um turning tool out which again dad made um, and um, bend that round. There you go, just bend over. Um, so, I'm going to check it that's all straight. That's it. Check all the angles, make sure the glass is straight. So I'm going to punch it and I'm going to test up against one of the beams to see if it's all um, straight and parallel and perpendicular and that sort of stuff. Right, so I'll say that's pretty much straight on. Doesn't look too shabby. I asked for five different hooks, that's certainly different from any other hook I've ever made. Right, so I'm going to try to get it as central as possible. Like that. There you go. Nice center punch in there. Now, use the big drill. I have this little tool here. We're just going to stick it in the hole where we want the steep out. We're just going to give it a couple of twists. There you go, that's um, deburred it nicely. So now, we can get to um, wire brush it up, clean it off, and then oil it up. There you go, nice cleaned up, nice and shiny now, so now, time to oil it. So now the last thing we're going to do is put our touch mark in this top piece here. the fly press table. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. It was great fun um, making this. It's unlike any other hook that I've ever made, and I wouldn't have been able to do it um, easily anyway without the spring fuller. So it's a really good idea to make that. Um, yeah, it worked perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, turn notifications on um, so you don't miss out on any new videos. Um, and please give a like or, or at least a like for my or the old man behind the camera 
that makes all the tools and machinery like that filing machine that you saw so yeah, at least please leave a like um, for him and if you're feeling generous leave a comment so yeah, hope you have a great day thank you and bye bye